Hello again Hot Wheelers. Today we have the metallic pinkish color version of the Mighty K. This is 5 of 250 I believe of the 2023 season of uh, Hot Wheels and is designed by Ryo Sada. Ryo Sada, I, just by name alone I believe he must have been of Japanese descendants. And so, you know, besides the Choro Q like tuned vehicles, he, I think he's famous for. He, he obviously likes K trucks as well. The K class vehicles in Japan are 600 cc's, and they're really small. They have a certain size limitation, and that's because uh, they have lower taxes. They're li literally less taxing on the roads because they're small vehicles. So people buy them because the roads in Tokyo are really small and all that stuff. Anyways, we got a whole bunch of customized looking K pickups. Uh, just by headlights alone, I think it's this thing. Uh, it looks very similar to that. It's not quite that one because the, the front end is actually totally different. So I think maybe this is a combination of a few different brands, maybe. But it's pretty neat. Neat looking. Let's see. And it's really this pink paint job uh, I like. I think there was a, obviously a different color variation. This was not the very first release. Uh, I forget what the first one was. Maybe it was white. But I don't know. Someone please leave a comment. Um... Yeah, we got some door handles sticking out, painted black. We do have the Asada Tire Shop there. And then I'm assuming that either it's reused name or maybe Hot Wheels in Japanese. We got some casted in mirrors there. The windows are actually closed. They're smoked, but not too much, as you can see. You can see right through it. So I think that's kind of neat. You can uh, see the high seat backs there with the headdress. And what about this? Oh, where's the steering wheel? I think it's on the uh, right side. Yeah, it is. So it's actually a pretty decent interior uh, for Hot Wheels, I think. Uh, there's actually some molded in wiper blades. No paint, of course, being a Hot Wheels, but still nice to have the detail. Uh, wind window uh, fluid ejector bumps, I'm guessing there. Some little uh, grill details. And then the clear windshield becomes the headlights in this, uh, that Suzuki-esque shape but this big round headlights which is kind of more of a retro one like uh, uh, that pick up there right <clears throat> then we have an intercooler so that's nice it's in this metallic swirly silver which I guess transitions to the base of it it's got the really small you know Hot Wheels wheels They're very small uh, so yeah there's the info so yeah I guess no, maybe this came out in 2022, I guess. Yeah, so... Yeah. Oh, maybe the white one came out in 2022, yeah. So this pink one, I think. Just by f number 5 of 250, I, I assume it's the early part of 2023. I see some molded tire details, like a spare tire there. But this side's totally asymmetric. I think this is like the battery box, maybe. Uh, oh, cool, cool. There's a, a license plate. It's nice and it's a Japanese license plate so that's nice and it does say 2022 and then the tail lights are done the tire shop thing the little tiny Hot Wheels logo we got the tie down points the latches more tie downs more latches uh, and then we got a spare wheel and the skateboard and a toolbox and some ribbing here in the back window and a little wing on the top is pretty funny it's cool. I think it's a fun little toy, I think. Uh, obviously it's going to roll pretty well. It's actually pretty heavy for its size. <clears throat> so obviously I'm going to have to think about what kind of wheels I want. Maybe that photo of the pink one. We'll find out what those wheels are. Alright, so we're back with the Hello Special 86 wheels. Uh, unfortunately I didn't paint them pink. I don't think I would be able to paint them pink and silver just too small. There's no disc brakes back there either. The tires are separate pieces though. Uh, I just cut the old wheels off, reused the axle. <clears throat> they add some paint, you know, some silver here and here, some black in the vents, some silver in the mirrors, a little bit of black in the side thing. And then the back is naturally already done, except for the little black in here, which apparently I did not scrape off enough. Or actually I just forgot. Who are we kidding? I just forgot. But nothing wants to stick to this slick plastic, so... Be mindful that if you paint these things, you really have to clear coat them to protect any sort of paint. Because if not, just touching the model, you know, 
it's gonna scrape it off unless it's recessed like this exhaust all right good enough <clears throat> so as compared to a few other more realistic ones I have a bunch of TLVs this is a Daihatsu Midget DSA this is obviously a three-wheeler I have a slightly larger one this is called a Mitsubishi Pet Leo or Leo Pet okay and then I do have a realistic modern K-Class truck, I believe. This is a Subaru Sambar. And uh, I think this was made by Aoshima. It's all plastic. But you can see it's got good details because plastic is simply better for details than die cast. I don't know why people always want metal bases and metal bodies. They're inferior to plastic as far as detailing goes. <coughs> this is a TLV. Uh, boy, what is it though? Honda TNV, okay. And then my standard reference for these type of things is the Greenlight uh, BA Baracus 18 van. Yeah. One thing I like about Greenlight is they've been selling this van forever. I saw one at retail the, just like last month, but I think this originally was casted, it says here copyright 2017, right? So I like that Greenlight will just make stuff because people want to buy it. I'm not a fan of all the limited edition stuff so much, you know? Let people buy your product. Why limit it? You know, do people really fall for that? Limited edition so they buy it? Everything's limited edition, so you can't buy everything. Alright, random subject. So back to these two. This is supposedly realistic. This actually looks very similar in size. It's a little bit taller, of course. But the, the overall length is actually very similar and it's possibly a little bit wider. But it seems like it would fit into a 164 display okay. Obviously if you just, you know, <coughs> have it next to a B.A. Baracus van, then it can work because it's smaller than that. Granted its windshield is very tall, so maybe not. Alright, well, let's go on here this spin in front of what I assume is the inspiration for this casting ah uh, yeah it's a fun one I like this little guy it's cool I, in particular you know all the work in the back end the license plate the lights back there it's all taken care of and then the front headlights and the grill areas they're recessed so they're pretty easy to add paint to so this is an easy one to customize so hopefully you guys want to do the same all right well thanks for watching keep on trucking but in a small K-class way. Alright, bye.